Hello everyone. As you can see, we got the Red Cat 71 here uh, ready for tonight. I'm going to try to image the, uh, I believe it's called the Gamma Nebula IC1318. I'm going to give it a shot on the new rig here. Been testing it out for um, a couple months now, and um, this is just something that I put together. I saw some people put some together online, and I decided to make a version for myself, and it's been working out so far. I figured I'd give it a shot and show you a couple of videos of it and see how it works, and Hopefully tonight the clouds uh, stay away and uh, we get some good get some good images of the Gamma Nebula tonight. All right, so a little bit more about the equipment. Of course, it's the uh, Red Cat seventy one. Uh, the ZWO ASI 2600MC Pro, the one-shot color, cool camera. Um, the ASI Air Plus works really good. Haven't figured out some of the details um, and the abilities of this thing, but I'm working through it because I'm still kind of new to it. And I, I just got this. I love the ASI. I think it's the 290. This is the 290mm. Uh, guide scope uh, camera the guide camera it works really good I really love it but uh, what I do not love is this uh, Aptura little guide scope it uh, I've been having some issues with it it's hard to get this to tighten all the way down to secure this in and it's really for me it's just been cumbersome to to get it to focus versus how far do you have to pull this in and out in in uh in reference to where do you adjust uh the the barrel nut here and, and adjust the focus in and out there um I, it took me a while and it's still not it's still not a very very good perfectly focused but uh it works well so far um and this uh i'm using the celestron abx mount um i i like the mount but i'm not happy with it um this is broke. It's just the cover is broke. But let me tell you what I did was is when I first got this thing and I'm still new at it, no one told me exactly how far to tighten the clutch down. And when I tightened the clutch down, I tightened it all the way down like this. And then, of course, as this spun around, it hit this and broke broke the plastic piece. So now I just, I just tighten it down a little bit so I know that it clears. But um, the design of this should be a lot better. This should be either moved up or down a good half an inch or change this change this out to where it will not hit this. Even if you crank this all the way down, it won't it won't hit. But uh, I've had a couple instances where this thing will jerk. It'll just jerk back and forth real quick in itself. Uh, makes a really weird noise like it's having a power surge. It's only done it about a handful of times in the year and a half that I've had it. But it does it, uh, and when it does it, it messes everything up. You got to turn everything back on and 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 uh, and, and restart. But um, that's only it's only a handful of times, and I've dealt with it. Uh, I can't wait to upgrade. But uh, I'd only recommend this AVX mount if it's the only one. If it's a budget build, and it's the only one you can get a hold of, or if you can get a used model. I'd recommend getting a used model before I got a brand new model. I won't buy another brand new one for sure. But if I had to, I'd buy a used one in a pinch. But other than that, there she is. And uh, can't wait till it gets dark. Let's do some imaging.
right, so as you can see, there's the setup. Wheeled it out here and uh, just simply uh, put the leveling feet down. Uh, I can use the socket and wrench over there. Or if I'm in a hurry, I just go use the cordless drill, zip them up and down. But it works really well. This is just a prototype. Um, works really well. You don't have to get them all the way off the ground, but it works well. Um, here's my little webcam that keeps an eye on the uh, scope while I'm inside or out here. There's the other two leveling feet. It's just real simple. You don't have to get it all the way off the ground um, to make it work. Um, but it works well as you'll see the tracking is, is is really good so if i had to do this again i would recommend not drilling a hole here um, and just making a channel or simply leaving it on uh, a flat surface uh, if you've got to spread the legs or or shrink them in um, when you're trying to tilt the the legs up or down it it puts it it puts a little bit in of a bind but it still works very well um, if but if you've got a really hilly surface it's probably not going to be advantageous to drill a hole but so far i haven't had any issues with it working like that and, uh, and again these straps are not that tight they are just simply there to uh, keep it in place when i'm rolling it on the ground so the stand does not fall off um, but it works well and um, got her set up uh, just got to pull power out uh, plug it up and then um, of course, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got the lights installed on the bottom there. Something simple. It's not painted. But uh, the lights work well. Keep me from tripping on it at night. And uh, we got it set up. And uh, hopefully going to uh, do some good imaging tonight. Uh, image the uh, Gamma Nebula. I believe it's IC1318. See you when it gets dark. The clouds cleared out. It's a beautiful full moon tonight. And... Got my rig set up, imaging the Gamma Nebula. I see, I believe it's IC1318. And this is what it looks like so far. It's looking pretty good here. Gotti's looking real good. Picture looks pretty good. Since the full moon is out, I'm using the Optolong L Ultimate filter. And I've got, uh, looks like about 49 stacked images so far. At two minute exposures. And that's, uh, it's kind of hard to see the rig there, but there's my rig that I made up. Got the leveling feet on it works pretty well as you can see there's the auto left it's not auto leveling but that's the leveling feet for it seems to work out pretty well quite pleased with the setup and the full moon <laughs>